Hello and welcome to the show. Later, Sheila Halliwell will be joining us to show us her innovative shaped card using the Papermania Spots and Stripes Brights capsule collection. Which is one of my favourite collections. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Amazing. It's lovely. Um, I just want to show you this card as well. This is what Sheila has made, um, which will be popping in the club with all the step by steps. Fantastic. But um, she's used the vintage notes filigree um, doily die. Yes mouthful mm -hmm. um but this is absolutely stunning and i particularly love all the glitter that she's used on i really this like how well. this lovely subtle sort of coating of glitter over yeah. here as well with the glitter showing through behind so she's used Beautiful. the lincoln linen um glitter right. paper hasn't she which yeah. is one, one of the the other capsule collections yeah absolutely love Brilliant. it so it's beautiful so you will be able to get the step by steps for this over in the club as well so should we bring sheila on yes come on sheila Hello, Hello. to the show. Thank you. So tell us more about what you're going to be doing today. Okay, well I'm going to be making a 3D card with a bit right. of a difference using some of the X-Cut dies and also some of the Bright's capsule collection as you mentioned before. Fantastic. Oh, brilliant. Great. Okay, well I'm going to pop off and then you two can have a go at doing the um, 3D card. Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> Right, Sheila, let's take a look at your card. Okay, so what I'm going to do is using a couple of square cards, I'm going to use some dies and we're going to create this 3D effect. Fantastic. So first of all, what I need to do is take two identical square card blanks and I'm taking some of the red spotty capsule paper. Oh, that's fantastic, it's isn't beautiful. it? That's my favourite design. I love design. it, I love it, yeah. I like the, yeah, uh, we've got little polka dots as well in the same collections, which are beautiful. Amazing. Um, so what I'm going to do, use my um, sticky glue stick and I'm going to put plenty glue onto here and then I'm going to place some paper. So I'm going to bring the glue to about halfway along this side of the card line. Okay. okay. I'm going to fit the paper right onto the edge. Now, if you prefer, you can actually cut it to size. But what I like to do when I stick paper onto card is to actually stick it on and then trim around the edge because you can guarantee you make measure sure it. Make sure it fits. And it's too yeah. small. So we'll just cut up the edge here. And then we're going to do the same with the second one. Lovely. Okay, so once we've trimmed off the excess, then what we're going to do is we're going to actually put them face together. So okay. the pattern sides of the papers together like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut half of the die. So we're not going to cut the whole um, shape out. We're just going to do half the way. And that's on the, the section that's got your paper. So yes. you've got the spare bit here. Yes. It's just over there. Yes. Okay. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to put this through our machine. Okay. So what I might do is put these onto my plates first and then pop the die on so I know I can line it up a Perfect. little bit better. We're not going to go all the way. We're just going to go half way. Okay. So, and you can gauge that by just making sure that you can see. When it's see. in the middle yes. there, we know we've gone all the way. Okay, and then we'll come back. And then we'll just do it again. So we have one cut there. Fantastic. And then we have another cut there. Oh, that's a brilliant cut, isn't it? Yeah. And then the idea is to actually turn them over and we're going to attach these together. Fantastic. Like that. So it looks so complicated, but actually that's really simple isn't it? You just yeah, cut the two pieces quite together. Simple. Yeah. So before I um, stick them together I'm just going to score down the middle here and along this edge here just to show you how to get the fold that goes behind. Okay. Taking. We're going to do Excellent. whatever we do with one we do with the other. Okay. So where our fold has finished here I'm going to score down there. It doesn't matter, it doesn't quite like meet up against a particular line, does it? Because you can Not just line all. it up in the centre then. Yes, it's more important that these two are lined just up get it rather straight. than it being against the edge of the board, yes. So, like so we're that. just scoring from the outside of the shape rather than the middle palm. Really. Yes, yes. And then we are going to score, before I actually score that one, I'm going to score a little bit further along here. Okay. So approximately an inch. Like that. Good, good. And like that. And then again, we'll do the same with this one. So we'll swap them over. So down here. And then down here as well. And then again, about an inch. 
apart. This makes it so much easier, it's easier, doesn't it, the scoreboards, you haven't got to get your, your ruler out so you know all your lines are perfectly Perfectly, Perfectly matched up. up with each side, yes. Oh, we've also got a, a question here from one of the uh, TV viewers. Ooh. And Jennifer from Poole asks, how do you come up with your new ideas? What's, what's your inspiration? Um, my inspiration, it, well, it, it's kind of um, somewhere within, actually. <laughs> it's actually always there. I do get lots of inspiration when I look at new products and look at the, new, the flowers, um, you know, things outside like the the trees for colours, Definitely. you know, that if you look at the trees and nature that everything's going to match. Um, but with the do crafts kits, I find it particularly easy because everything colour matches, all the patterns yeah. match, so whether you've got flowers, embellishments, everything works perfectly together. And with the dyes as well now, it means there's lots of opportunities to let your creativity Definitely. run free, really. Definitely, and sometimes just playing with the dyes, doesn't it, really, yes. it's really helpful. Just Definitely. sort of trying out different things, like cutting half a design, for example. Yes. That, that works a treat, doesn't it? And of course it the does. design comes from there. Yes. And you can always snip a little bit further in. If It's better to have cut not quite far enough than too far. Yes. Okay, and then we fold along our score lines like that. Wow, that's really taking shape. And then shape, that's isn't it? what gives us our little Fantastic. panel. So our pre-scored pre line along the back here, we fold that as well. So we'll fold that right back like that, and same with this one. Okay, so we'll just lay that flat. Okay, and then that gives us our section that we will cut down. Okay, so what we're going to do is oh, we're going to cut these. Yes, yeah, so we're mm -hmm. going to cut down here now, and then we can fold those back over each other so that when we bond it together, it will still go flat in an envelope. Excellent. Okay, so what we'll do is just trim along there, and you can do this either with your scissors or with your guillotine or your knife, whichever you prefer. And we cut that section off again. We can use that later. For We're building up quite a collection else. of bits here. You we are indeed. Fashion something you? later. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will just chop that off there. There we go. Thank, Thank you. you. And then we're going to take a double sided um, strip of tape to connect those at the back. Okay. And we're going to put it along the inside section here. Okay. So we have one piece there like so and then we'll just trim that bit off there okay and then we need to join these together at the front as well so again we'll do that with double-sided tape and we'll do that now it gives that really good strong bond doesn't it yes and this tape is perfect for that it's a good strong tape one of my uh, necessities in it's my toolbox essential kit isn't it yes and then we can bond those together I think what I like most about the card is that it would work for any occasion, wouldn't it? Depending what paper you make this in, it would make lovely Christmas cards or, you know, li literally yes, any occasion, wouldn't it? Definitely. It's not tied to any one. Like if it was a all. flower, for example, it might be a little bit more, more limiting. But this yeah. is uh, really universal. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll take the tape off here, and this is our back piece. Now, before I actually just go ahead and stick it together, I need to make sure that when we, um, lay, we, when we press it flat, to go in an envelope, it will actually go, okay, go yeah. flat, okay. And then that's how you actually make your 3D Fantastic. pop out. And then you can embellish it inside, like we've done here. I see, yeah, so you can where you see yeah. through the, the gap, it looks yeah. pretty too. Yeah, you can too. just measure the back and then put an extra panel in mm -hmm. there. And you've decorated it with um, some of the coordinating elements we have, yes, from so the, the capsule collection. Yeah, I've used some of the big bloomers, I've used the buttons, some of the twine and also some of the ribbon and then just some gems and one of our paper mainly stamps. That looks fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Katie. Thank you, Thank Sheila. You. If you've been inspired by Sheila's projects and you make something using dyes, perhaps in a new way, do drop us a line to tv at docraft.com and show us what you've been creating. If you want to grab the write-up and all the instructions and step-by-steps for this project, those are available exclusively to Creativity Club members at docrafts.com. Until next time, happy crafting.